This case is known as the Calder Road killings or the Killing Fields. There were, were four victims found uh, throughout the years. The fact that the offender chose this area uh, gives us a couple little tidbits of insight. It was, it's such a remote rural area, somebody had to know about that place. What we're looking for is some anomalies that exist between all four girls. If, if there's one person that, that knew all the girls or one person that was seen with the girls, that of course would be a, a, great, um, a great lead for us. But any, anything that anybody in the public knows, anything no matter how small they think it is, we really want them to come forward because it may be very significant to us even though they think it's just a, a small tidbit that doesn't have any meaning. Yeah, I think about Laura every day. I miss her, and uh, there's always going to be that empty plate at the dinner table, but, you know, her death wasn't in vain. It wasn't in vain, I'm not going to say it still isn't difficult. I would go out there where Laura's body was found, and, uh, and I would walk up to her cross. I put my hand out across and I say, Laura, please don't hate your daddy, but I can't come out here anymore. I have to say goodbye and I have to put my life back together. And I'd literally be walking away and I hear this little voice that Dad, don't quit, please don't quit. I'm going to fight to my dying breath to do what I can do to make sure whoever murdered Laura and the other girls, uh, justice is served. The fact it hasn't been solved doesn't mean it's not being worked, and doesn't mean it's not being worked diligently. It just means that we're not getting the breaks that we need at this point. We need to go further and, and find the killer and bring him to justice. And I think that would, 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 would heal a lot of wounds in the community. I was at work and one of the girls said, Miss Diane, your phone is going off. And when I went and looked at it, I had two calls from my cousin and then a text that said, call ASAP. And when I called her, she said, where are you? I said, I'm at work. She said, go outside. I said, okay, I'm outside. And she said, Diane, I just got off the phone with the Detective Tisdale from the League City Police Department. And I knew, I mean, my knees fell out. Gina started to tell me they found her. I said, I don't want to know. Um, I didn't want to know any of it. I just was... Relieved. I was relieved. She had a pretty tough life. She loved to shrimp and crab and fish on the banks of the Sabine River. She loved her children so much. The bottom line to all this is no one deserves to die like she did. No one. It's very important for the public to know that we have not given up. You know, it may be labeled a cold case. That doesn't mean it's just sitting on a shelf not being worked. It's being worked actively at FBI. It's being actively worked at League City Police Department. And 
We have uh, other resources from other agencies that are helping out. I want everybody to know that nobody has given up on this case. And I want the offender to know, if he's watching, that we will come get you.